Today I'm going to take the 59 Chevy to Fort Gratiot, Michigan to a photo shoot for another book by the same author that did Detroit Modern. This is going to be Michigan Modern featuring homes of the, you know, the modern style homes in another book that are throughout Michigan. So today's drive is going to be about 125 miles round trip. And I'm going through and stopping at my friends Dave's in Memphis, seeing he's partway there. And he's going to uh, bring his 59 Cadillac Special 62 four-door hardtop to the photo shoot, too. And I told the author that I had, was going to stop at a friend's and told him about his 59 Cadillac. He's like, can you bring it? So I texted him and he said yes. So... We're going to drive up there together, so I might have some uh, dash cam video of him. I'll let him lead. He knows that area pretty well, and uh, so I'll let him lead, and I'll get some video of his uh, 59 Caddy running along ahead of the 59 Chevy, and uh, he might use them at the Midland photo shoot, too. But anyway, I want to check the oil and the coolant. I already checked the power steering and brake. And uh, make sure all the fluids are up. Hasn't been started in a couple days. The oil is right on the full mark. I want to oil the oilers too on the coolant's good. I don't know if you can see in the radiator or not. I want to oil the oilers on the generator and distributor. It's been since I first started driving the car back in. I don't know, early April, since I oiled the oilers, and they say to oil them every thousand miles. I've probably only put a few hundred miles on it, but it's time, you know, the oil seeps out and whatnot. So I'm going to give them a quick oiling too. So the author, Peter Ferguson, he's also looking for some more cars. He needs, um, he needs some mid-50s era, early to mid-50s era cars. So if any of my viewers have something that he could use in a photo shoot, uh, send, me, send me an email and I'll forward your information on to him. Send some photos of your car. He's looking for completely stock cars, no custom wheels, no custom paint. You know, these are homes that he wants a car about the air of the home in the driveway when he shoots the house. And he doesn't want modified cars that look you know don't look period correct to the house so if you have a restored or unrestored really clean early to mid 50s cars let car and you want to maybe have it in a photo shoot somewhere throughout michigan the 1959 house is midland in midland and that's yeah i just i don't know if i want to drive all the way to midland he might get dave to take his cadillac he's asked if he would be willing to do that i told him maybe you could ask him it wouldn't hurt this Cadillac's just amazing. But anyway, we're going to, uh, I cleaned the car up a little bit. And we're going to finish uh, oiling the oilers and uh, get going here pretty soon. It'll be nice to get the old Bel Air out on the open road. It always runs better after a nice run on the open road. It's hot out today, too. It's supposed to get up near 90. So I got the windows down, the vents pulled open. So we're ready to do some cruising and some hot weather. Okay, time to get going. We're going to head off to Dave's. We'll see how many miles we do on the, this uh, photo shoot. I figure about 150 because I'm going to take, um, I'm not taking the freeway all the way. I'm, we're three quarters of a tank, so that should be plenty of gas. And uh, like I say, I've known Dave for 60 years now, so it's it's gonna be kind of fun hang you know go hang out with the old cars and do stuff my video camera just came on and before the radio starts playing i'll turn it off all right let me get going on this beautiful it's about 87 degrees out it's absolutely fantastic out for driving the old car so let me uh we'll get going
to Dave's house. We I had to take uh, I-94, so we've done a few miles. There was so much road construction. M-53 was completely closed. So I had to take Metropolitan Parkway over to I-94 and up. Uh, and uh, anyway, we're almost to Dave's here. Well, that's usually pretty bad. Not too bad. Are all the, is it only one pump that has the ethanol free or do they all? Um, I, that I don't know. I imagine just one. So um, just one I know that it's, it, it, there may be two. Oh, I'm getting text up on the look now that I'm not driving. Six thirty. He said he was an hour away. He just texted me a minute ago. Okay. He was an hour away. They used to have a really good car cruise in Port Huron, and I used to take this route. Oh, okay. They may still have it. I don't know. It was a huge event. Yeah. Well, this is where we usually take our tour, color tour through. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. I remember this. Yeah. yeah this is beautiful through here. Yeah, when those signs say 30 in this car, you got to do that means 30. It. Yeah, right. Yeah, when we had uh, when we had that last color tour, there was a um, four or five uh, Shelby a, a Shelby group, you know, or whatever uh -huh. that they had, and they they were on the tour, and they. That they were saying how, oh, I, we love doing all that curvy, windy We do the 70 miles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, these cars, they have the power to go down the road quick and leave most of the cars behind, but you get into some curves and winds right. in the road and right. forget it. Yeah. <laughs> these things don't handle like the body. Oh, okay, for sure. And then Cadillac's probably got power steering gear. This has a manual steering gear oh, with a okay. slave cylinder and a spool valve on it. So it has power steering, but it's a different, different style types. of setup. Yeah, yeah, right. So it doesn't handle as well as right, that, the right, Cadillac. Right. The Pontiac had the life that the Cadillac has. That Pontiac I had drove like a new car compared to this. <laughs> this place is neat in the woods here. So we kind of made it waiting on the photographer and the author. So we pulled into the wrong driveway and now we're in the correct one. And wait until you see this house, it's absolutely amazing.
he's got a reverse light on. Oh, he does. Pull the lever up a little bit. That's you where reverse is all the way to, bo to the bottom. And it then is. Yeah. Drive is the next click up. Yeah. And, yeah. So, so why would the reverse light be on? It must be in the it, detent in the, for oh, that area. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I suspect one of the cars is going to go in oh, the carport. Right sure. What a beautiful house. What a neat house. Love that evergreen. Yeah. They're getting everything lined up. We're going to put the cars under the carport here. Those are the homeowner vehicles. This is the author's truck. And the photographer's car is back there. That's why I like cars with sometimes guys will get annoyed because I'll tell them I can't use it if the car doesn't have uh, original wheels and stuff like that. It's like, I'm trying to recreate what it would have looked like when they moved into this sure, house. Sure. You know, and people wouldn't have had Kreger rims on their right. car. Yeah, you know. give you guys a quick tour the views out into the courtyard are so tranquil i mean for sure so... yeah here's the master suite this is for brats down there <laughs> <laughs> and there's the indirect lighting in here So Maybe this is nice this view. is like a, a master with a seating area and a view right out to the water. Uh, I mean, in 1961, this is living. This is it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Sure. This is a master suite Definitely. in 1961. Definitely. Nice, totally great. And uh, kitchen dining. Oh, look at the windows. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's really a small house. It's beautiful. But it works. Video. Look at the house. Wow. Yeah. What are those? That's so the to prevent erosion when Rip it storms. Rap is what it's called. You ever heard of kids called that? Well, that is where the that's the origin of the term. Rip yeah, because I think the mouth of the St. Clair River is just down here, so that probably is Canada that we can see on the horizon over there. I don't know if it shows up in the video, but yeah, and that's Lake Huron. This would help if I put it in the <laughs> Yeah, because you're think over I... on the side. Yeah, you might have to. I'll back into the carport. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pull in here and back in. I'm going to clear it on the post down. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. <Jay. laughs> They've got a big old Cadillac through there. I can get you this can through. You can get this through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a narrow driveway, isn't it?
I'm surprised there's not more bugs out. I yeah, thought we the car would, would be plastered. With yeah. Them. Or even at the house there, I thought for sure the mosquitoes were going to be bad. And I didn't get one. <laughs> Dave and I will drive around and we'll be picking out, you know, all these, uh, you know. I'd do the same thing. Yeah. I'd see cars, sometimes I'd even stop and say, hey, do you want to sell Oh, that? really? Yeah. Okay. I got a few cars, project that cars yeah. doing that. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I was on my way up the pack to drive the grain truck okay. for when they were harvesting their corn. Right. And... I saw this 58 Dodge sitting in this garage and I turned around and went back and ended up buying the car. No kidding. Yeah, I gave him $300. No for way. 50,000 original miles was last plated in 71. Oh my god. And goodness. this was, I think, 86. Okay. So we're in mid to late 80s. Right, right. I had it parked in my dad's driveway and somebody drove by and saw it. It was pink and white <laughs> with a black and white interior. Oh somebody goodness. saw it and they knocked on the door and made my dad an offer and he sold it for me. So oh. I got three thousand dollars for a car I did zero two that I paid three hundred to for it. Paid three hundred bucks for it. Did nothing. I didn't even put gas in it. Wow. I drove it from where I bought it. Right. Back with zero brakes. Back to Romeo. Really? Yeah. Wow. Had no brakes whatsoever. Wow. I thought it would just go right to the floor. I think I'll try and push the clutch in all the way this time. <laughs> home but as you can see it is 100% dark out now it's uh four to ten so yeah it was a long day but it was a fun one with the old car car starts easier already and runs better I can feel how much peppier it is and better it runs so anyway we'll wrap up the video here soon and lovely I hope they don't have the road blocked off here
Here we go. I don't know if the odometer, you can see it or not, but you can do the math. It says uh, 2,848 and 7 tenths, but I'll let you guys do the math on uh, how many miles that was because I don't remember what it said when I left. But anyway, we're home. So if you enjoyed the video, I don't know if you can see me or not, but if you enjoyed the, the video of the ride and Dave's Cadillac and the house. The house is absolutely amazing. Anyway, hit that thumbs up icon as it definitely helps and subscribe by hitting that 348 engine icon that powers this car. And again, thank you for taking the time to watch my video. This was the buck from the last photo shoot, and I'm trying not to get the light reflecting on it, and I don't know how I can. But anyway, I got Peter to sign it for me. Yeah, so I'll get another book once uh, he'll give me a book once the book's printed. But yeah, I highly recommend these books if you're in the mid-century modern, modern homes. There you go. That's the author right there, but yeah, it's a, it's a good book.